Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to save groups into scenes inside of Cray Studio Pro. All right, so let's take a look at my timeline, and I've got a bunch of scenes already built out, and I really wanna utilize this specific scene two for future projects, right? So if I double click inside of scene two, this is really just a group, right? And groups help you organize the content that you've created into one single track, right? So I could go inside of this group scene two here, and you'll see that everything in here that makes up this scene is the, the background, the animation, the text bubbles, um, the astronaut uh, profile bubble here, all this text. And then it's all grouped into scene two, which allows me when I select it here to then go ahead and freely edit the text um, without having to do a lot of, 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 of customizing and, and going in there and redoing the animation itself, right? Um, so I wanna save this scene two into my scenes right here. And then that way I can open up any new project and session and have access to this scene and utilize it to my purpose for my projects whenever I want. All right, so to do that, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select scene two here or whatever scene that you're trying to save, right? And then go ahead and right click on scene two and then save to my scenes. So once you find that, click on save to my scenes and you'll see it opens up the my scenes category here and it adds it to like the global my scenes library. And what you can do is you can add categories to stay organized, right? So I can then click on add category and we can call this um, animations, right? And then if I wanna save this specific scene to my animations category that I just created, all I have to do is right click on it and then hover over move to and then select animations. And so now if I click on animations, there it is, scene two has been added. And you can do this for any scenes um, that you like, right? And then you can add them to all the categories that you want. For example, maybe you wanna do one that's like uh, lower thirds, right? So you could, create a lower thirds category and then save those scenes that are lower thirds based into this lower thirds category or all your animations you can save into here just so you can stay organized and create a nice workflow for all your future projects. All right, so let me um, save this and show you how to utilize this once you've got it into my scene. So I'll exit the project here and start a new project and Chris create a new blank project here. And then what I can do is go back to my scenes right here and you'll see that here is my animations category. And then there's that lower thirds that I created with nothing in it. Now, if I go to my animations category and then there's my scene two, I can then just drag this into my canvas. And then there is the animation there for me to, uh, to utilize. I can go in there and edit and do things as I choose. So if I select scene two here, I can then go and customize, um, you know, all this text here, uh, you know, not sure. Uh, you know where to start right you can go in here and change all this you can change the Houston I have a problem so all these text is adjustable and editable inside of create studio pro right so instead of moon man maybe we want to call him cool man right um, or you know go back maybe that wasn't so such a cool name right um, but you see what I'm saying you can go in there and save these scenes or these groups to your scenes inside of create studio pro so that they are readily available at your fingertips speed up your workflow inside of create studio pro so you can focus on creating all right so that is how you can add groups to your scenes inside of create studio pro hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here can't wait to see what y'all create and i'll catch you on the next tutorial